Hi, I'm Brianna. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and then moved to Orlando, Florida when I was 10 with my mom, older sister, and our dog, Prince. Hi, Prince. I've always been a good student. I even graduated high school a year ahead of my class. Woo. I'm really looking forward to starting college in the fall. I really like hanging out with my friends and taking pictures. Oh. My dad wasn't around much growing up. But my mom has worked hard to take care of me and my sister. I think you can do college, and then from there you decide what do you want to become. The three of us are really close. We talk about everything. Shut up! You don't even know what you're talking about! My boyfriend Devon and I broke up a month ago. But I still love him and hope we can work things out. Because I'm pregnant. When I texted Devon about naming our baby, he actually responded and said he wanted to meet up. What you been doing? I've been getting things ready for our daughter's arrival. So her name is officially set. Yeah, Nova. Do you feel like you have a say in the name? I feel like I should. It's just I feel that you didn't really do much and for you to have a say. What's the middle name? I don't know. The last name? It's up to you. If you want the last name, then you show me that you want the last name. I think a last name is more important than a first name. Because with the last name, you have rights. Without the last name, you don't have Over this past month, we haven't even spoken to each other. We have personal problems. I'm just asking a few simple things from you. What are you asking for? I wanted to be there. I need you to get a job. Aren't are you worried to have a job for me, or are you worried to have a job for your For son? you and her. I don't need anything from you. We, we were very clear about that. Mm. But she does. What do you need personally from me? I need you to be there. What if I be there without a job? Don't you want to be able to supply her with things? Not, cool. not just my mom. That's what I want. But I can't right now. You could. You, ha you could. You could. I could what? Get a job and do those things. I called Devon and told him it was time, and he surprisingly showed up right away. So my mom drove us all to the hospital. How you feeling, Brianna? Wait, okay, Bri? Oh, come on. <laughs> you want ice? You need to get thirsty. You can't. You can't. Breathe, baby. <laughs> I was in a lot of pain, so I asked for an epidural, and before I knew it, the doctor said it was time to push. Push, 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 push. Very good, just like that. Keep going, keep going. Come on, hard. Push hard, 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 h
you Recently, didn't. since I was eight, I didn't have Excuse a dad. Me. She did grow up with a father. So don't talk that you don't know. I'm done with that. Stop using me and her father as an excuse. Get the out. I'm in here. Get out. I don't Get the up. Get the out. I'm tired. Get the out. Get the out. I'm in here. Get out. Get the out. I'm tired. Don't put your hands on me. Do not put Get your hands off me. Hands off me. Get, get off my face. house. It's always everybody else's ass. Stupid ass. Bitch. Mom! No! No! Me. Done. Piece After the big fight with Devon, we refiled the order of protection, and now we need to check the status of it online. We got approved. Let me see. But when are we going to serve him? The sooner you serve him, the faster and sooner he's going to stay away from you. And then if you really want him to stay away, you'll do it tomorrow. That's all you have to do. The court said that there must be a cop there before you serve him. And just in case the violence, violence. comes. You just seem like so at peace with it. Because she's tired of his ass, Mom. There's nothing else we can do about it. Give him the paperwork. Like, here, you thought I was with you. Bam. All right, good morning. Do you object to the injunctions that are being sought against you? Yes. All right. Take a look at those and then let me know whether you have any objection to those. The contention is those are comments that you put on Twitter. Are those comments you put on Twitter? They're not? OK. None of them? None of them? What is Pappy Chulo? Who is that? That's his Twitter name. That's his Twitter name? All right. Sir, do you dispute that Poppy Chulo is your yeah. name that you use on Twitter? That's incorrect. That's incorrect. With respect to Ms. DeJesus' claim, I do not believe the evidence is sufficient. I am going to dismiss that case without prejudice. That's the court's ruling. Both parties will get copies of the court's order. Thank you. Courts want to see like bruises and blood and my guts hanging out in order to get an order of protection. You were able to gather all the evidence from Twitter and then denied, and the judge is looking at him like. I can't believe he did that. That Papi was Papi Chulo. So funny. He'll never use that name if again. He, that's how I know like he will never respect because if he's lying to the court, he will always lie to me, always lie to you, and not give a about anything. Yeah, you're right. You know. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, still, you have paperwork, you have a trail, you have a history. And most importantly, that evidence was admitted and it will always be on file. Always, always, always. And if something else occurs, they go back, that'll seal the deal. Are you okay? What sucks is, like, he could come whenever he wants now, and if he wants to bang on the door every night, he could. I don't think that he wants to do that. He better not want to do that. I still don't want him around me or Nova, to be honest okay, with you. Okay, but he better not think for once that just because this judge said dismissed that you will not continue to fight for what you believe is right. I wanted to get the injunction filed on him so he could just stay away and I don't have to deal with him. I'm still going to have to deal with him. You have to deal with him for the rest of Nova's life. Holidays, birthdays, weekends. That's it. That's, that's the bond. God, it's your birthday. Can I have Bessie? It's Nova's party today. And Devon is helping my mom set up at the venue. I'm happy he's stepping up. I just hope we can all get along. At first, I didn't want to invite you just because, you know, I didn't feel like you deserved it. But then I realized, you know, I need you to see what she has, what, how fast she's grown. We went through all that drama with court and all that. <laughs> Basically, when you got fed up, said you didn't want me around no more. I won a few months. I was quite depressed, I'm not gonna lie. I only told you to get to step away because you were making the situation a lot more difficult. Like, you never made it easy for me, not once. Yeah. At first I didn't think like, oh, whatever, I don't need him, whatever. He's a piece of whatever. But she needs you. I'm gonna give you your time to grow up, to realize what you've been missing out on. And when you're ready to come back and you're ready to be a part of her life for real, not just once in a blue moon, mm -hmm. 
then you can have that. Then I'll, then we can co-parent, we can do this together. I believed you at the birthday party. I saw a man make a commitment, and then I'm hearing that you've only been there twice in three months. Explain that to me. I mean, it's kind of hard to come over someone else's house when you ask them something, and like, they're always busy. So he, he comes, makes an offer, and you say, I'm too busy, or I mean, she'll do it. I'm, saying, I'm too busy, it. oh, I wanna come over. Oh, it's a Monday, I'm running errands with my mom. Or can I come over? No, I gotta go to work. Let's go out. I left the car seat in my mom's car. Just little stuff like that, but there's a lot of days where you don't even ask how she's doing. You don't even come by nothing. Just because you asked to come over doesn't mean you're being a father. But there's multiple times where I ask him to come over. Not even ask, because I don't ask him to come over. I take that back. There's times Why don't where... you ask him to come over? Why? Why should I? This is where pride comes in. I simply ask her to do one... Thing. Well, ask you? I'm no, not no, gonna ask no, you not anything. Ask me. Tell me. I'm not asking you to, I'm not, you don't I'm have to ask me. I'm telling you right now. You. I've been telling you all the time. You know what she needs, Devon. Okay, oh, okay, so check this out. What size shoe does she wear? She don't need shoes. She don't. Okay. Don't buy her Jordans and okay. bull Get her clothes, get her food, do something. You don't do Okay, well first, no. You're an ass First of all, like, Sandra has the baby changes her style of milk that she drinks. She what drinks bring whole milk. You know she drinks whole milk. She don't drink formula. I'm not talking no about that. I'm talking about, I'm not that. talking about right now. You don't even know that. You don't know what size of shoe she wears. You don't know her diaper. You don't know. It's the Brianna show or can I talk? No, you don't need to talk. <laughs> it's the Brianna show. Because your actions show it all. Do anybody want to talk? You don't need to talk. I'm tired of you Rashad talking. Just leave. Go. You want me to leave no, that no, no, no. I'd like him to leave. stay. No, Brianna. You're a Brianna. Brianna. I saw no, it in that it? hour. Okay. You didn't know how to do I seen her 16 and pregnant. You didn't know what the you were doing when you first got the baby. Shh. Shut up. Relax. Shut He's Relax. fine. Relax. He's you hear how she's talking to me. Well, it's okay because you, you don't do You hear how she's talking her. to me. You don't do nothing for her. You hear how she's talking to she me. She does everything for Nova. I do my with you. your let bitch ass. Is this Jerry Springer now? I don't give a Must have done again. Do something, mother Do something. I'm not done. I dare you to do something. I dare you. Since Nova was born, my mom and sister have helped me raise her. But her dad, Devon, wasn't really around. Things haven't changed much with Devon. He's gonna come. But now I'm five months pregnant with my new boyfriend, Louis. And I'm hoping things will be different this time. I was more of like, well, we don't really know each other. Maybe it's best if we do get an abortion. But you were very supportive. And you said, you know, our situation is not the best, but we'll figure it out. Are you ready to help me with Nova and having to wake up every two hours in the nighttime to feed a newborn? I'm all in it. I know what comes to play. I've thought about all of that, and I'm ready. I find I found something out. Brian, seriously, stop, Tommy. Um, Louis got another kid. No, well, yeah, you're, he does. No, you're another. You're killing me. No, he's been cheating on me this whole time. You lying. So, oh, oh, what am I gonna do? I can't. I can't. I'm a stop. The baby's ass up. Stop, no, was here. No, I don't give a stop. But he been cheating on you? Yes. What? This is address. Brittany, stop. I don't want to hear it right now. I can't, I can't. Got broken up? No, we're not broken up. The <laughs> bitch, break up with him. You weren't worth than that. Shh, Brittany, Give me details. Quiet. I want details. How long, who? Since this month. With who? Some girl. Who the bitch at? Who the bitch? Shh, no, stop. I, I can't be mad at her. She had no idea about me. I know, me. but who is the bitch? I looked her up on Instagram, and I asked her, like, is there anything going on with you and Lou? How long? And she said, call me. And we talked on the phone for like three hours, and she told me everything. He was telling her that he's only with me because he wants to be there for the baby. Um, this is a nightmare. All this stuff. I hope you cussed him out. Did you? I haven't spoken to him. He keeps writing me, and I keep ignoring him. I was stupid. It was childish. I can't go back. If I could, I would. I. I legit want us to be together and to 
go on with the plans that we've had all this time. And all those plans that we had, they really did go to <laughs> Like, you don't realize like, the, the actions that, that you have done affects everybody. I can't, I can't be with you. Like, I'd, I've been through so much that I know what I want, and this is not it. I don't want to feel obligated to do anything because of this baby. I don't feel like I need to be with you because of this baby. I still even haven't forgave Devon for everything he put me through, and it's almost six years. <laughs> I've been down this route, and I don't want to go do it again. I don't. How do you feel about, about adoption? And now Nova's at an age in her life where she notices that she's black. Like, mm -hmm. she doesn't like her hair. She's upset about her skin color. So now Nova wants me to take her to the hair salon to straighten her hair. She wants her hair straight. She wants her hair straight. Like, if she was around your sisters and she can see, like, OK, they're the same color as me, they have the same hair as me, mm -hmm. as she, you know. She even worse hair. <laughs> Trust me, they definitely will let her know that she got some great hair, because she does. I, I, I would like, you know, for your family to try a little bit more. Like, your your mom has never really contacted me to see how she's doing. I mean, my mom asked about her, but she told me, straight up, I'm not, not going to go over there. That's her grandchild. That's her first grandchild. So it's like, if you want to be in Nova's life, I feel like you should try. Just oh, she's here? I think so. Who's here? Who's that? Are you surprised that he's here? Go get him. How you doing? Go give him a hug. Give me a hug. Give me hugs. Oh, look at this pretty girl. Look at this hair. You got such pretty hair. Mm. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want the feeling of long hair? Yeah. You know when I wet your hair in the tub, where does your hair go up to? What? Your butt. Your hair is long already. Straight in, like this. But, but do you know the moment you wet it, it gets curly again. It doesn't stay like that forever. So you would have to get your hair done in the salon every week. Look at that girl. Say hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, my goodness. What do you think of that? That's so soft. You look at that. Got some clothes. For who? For you. Go look at it. Go see. Ooh. Shirt! It's shirt! Today I have an appointment with an adoption agency, and my sister is going to come with me. I don't want to cry, so I don't want to talk about it. So you've named the baby Stella? Yeah. Oh, very oh, sweet. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no, that's a very pretty name. Very sweet. <laughs> Can I request for them to keep the name? Absolutely. Okay. Heart of Adoptions has a website full of families that you can choose from, whether it's an open adoption with visits and pictures and letters and contact with the family, or a semi-open adoption where, you know, you get a couple of um, pictures and letters throughout the year. And then you also have a closed adoption where you don't get any pictures or letter updates on the child. Um, were you thinking about an open adoption, a closed adoption? What kind of... I would like open adoption or at least semi-open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My next question is, let's say the father of this baby isn't on board 110%. Will I still need him to be on board to proceed if I wanted to get this baby up for adoption? So with the birth father, um, mm -hmm. we will have to reach out to him. So we'll send him a, a letter um, in the mail, and I'll call him and try to counsel with him on your decision and why you think this is what's best for the baby. Mm -hmm. um, if we can't get him to sign, we will serve him paperwork. Um, he'll have 30 days to respond to the paperwork in order to preserve his parental rights. It would be based on what he's done in those 30 days. So like, okay. he would have to start supporting you, okay. um, helping you with food and groceries, taking you to doctor's appointments or any medical care that you need. He has to be providing you some kind of physical and emotional support. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that what helps a lot with the birth fathers is being able to um, be a part of the process as well, yeah. like being able to see the profiles, being able to s help you select a family. Maybe I can give him your number and he can reach out to yeah, you. Yeah, and even if he wants to come in with you yeah. and 
can like try to get answers or questions answered and it's much easier if he's on board. You look annoyed. I am. Why are you annoyed? Because I know you this is you've been wanting to explore your options. Yeah, and I have every right to do that. You do. But I think what's best for my child is to be with her parents. So when are you going to look at apartments? I'm actually gonna go see a few places today. Well, what location are you gonna move to? Um, tied to nothing around here. I found a few places not too deep in the east, but they were, the pricing was a little better from my end, so I'm gonna see them later. Where you're looking is like 30 minutes away. I mean, I understand that completely. I mean. Now all I can do is, you know, keep my word and tell you what I tell you. When I will tell you that I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna be there. I thought he was gonna find an apartment closer to you guys so that he could be there with you guys. I guess not. I don't wanna do this by myself. This kid deserves a father. But if you're not going to show effort and you're not going to be there and you're not going to try, this baby's going to be brought up in a situation like Nova is. I, I try to cover it up with Nova. Like, I try to get her whatever she wants all the time. Just to cover it up. And it's not fair to her. So I don't want to do that with Stella. There's families out there that have everything, everything to offer for a kid. Everything from traveling to, to music lessons, to singing lessons, to doing all these things, being in a private school, to having everything that they want. That's where I'm coming from. And I get you, I haven't been playing my part. Obviously, I have to better myself to better Stella and to better you. You're right. Uh, Excuse my hand. I, the more you breathe it, the easier it goes. I have to move more. You have to. Mm -mm. You have to. Mm -mm. Maybe next time, you know, you'll be a little oh, no. more careful. No more kids. You said that after the first one, and look where you are oh right my now. God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. How excited are you, Nova? Yes. Let me see your shirt, Nova. Let me see. Yes, big sister Nova. More, more, more. More, more, more. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. A quick breath. <sighs> And push again. Go, 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 go. More. Go, Give me go, more. Go, 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 go. Harder, 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 harder. Nice Give me more. You more. got it, baby. Go, you got go, 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 go. it. Push through that pain. Push through that pressure. And push. No, but she got more hair than me. She got more hair than me. The hair is out of your vagina already. That's how long it is. He makes the money. Go, 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 go,
You haven't done nothing. Financially, nothing. I've been moaning about this baby for a long time. If you was a grown man, you would have been out already. You would have been done that, that trucking thing the moment I found out I was pregnant. You would have been made moves. And you haven't. I don't know what the f you're waiting for. So it sucks, you got two kids, you're 31 years old and you have nothing. Louis never came last night. And when I got up this morning, I noticed that Stella's hands and feet were blue. And she was breathing weirdly, so I called my doctor. What is she doing? Nothing. And what did you text Louis? I was like, I'm all taking your daughter to the ER right now because her breathing is bad. And he has a whole bad. If he doesn't respond, you wouldn't have to kick his ass. I know. Benito, they had to check her blood pressure. They had to do EKG. They had to do ultrasound of her heart. Just three folds in her heart. Just like the doctor says we have to take her in two months. There are certain signs we have to look for when she's feeding. Like, if she's too exhausted to finish her feed, that's not good. If she sweats, it's not good. If she's exhausted, it's not good. Or if she's, like, panting and out of breath, that's she's not good. She's been panting and out of breath. Yeah, I told them that. Okay, but, like, she needs heart surgery? No. Luckily, like, the holes don't grow. They, they stay the size that they are, and they're kind of small, she said. So people live their lives with holes in their heart, and they're fine. She just wants to keep an eye on it. We just have to, she's probably gonna have to see a cardiologist for a while. This week I start getting out an hour earlier, so I just come sometimes during the week. Sometimes during the week? Yeah, I mean, I have to study and stuff like that, but I can come. I would hope so. She needs a father in her life, you know? This is why we kept her. There's no reason why you're still in the same state as her and you haven't seen her or done anything for her. You hardly even ask how she's doing, especially with what's going on. I did see the first episode. Did you ever handle that situation or anything? No, it's just, it is what it is. He cheated on me. I found out I didn't want to be with him. And now the baby's here, and he hasn't helped with anything. He hasn't done anything that I got to deal with. And now I got to take care of this baby all by myself, so all of the things Nova used to get mm -hmm. probably won't get anymore. And it'll be cool if you stepped up a little bit more. Understood. I need you to be there more physically and financially. But it's baby steps. You need to get your license first in order to maybe get a better job or maybe to come here more often or whatever the case is. And that's why, you know, I've been holding off on child support because if you can't pay child support, the moment you get your license, they're going to take it away from you and I don't want that for you. Know what I mean? Because then we go back to day one and then nothing ever changes because you can't come see her. Yeah. How much is our school going to be again, weekly? When I find out full, full prices of after-school program, I will let you know. So how about we do this? Like, we can, I'll pay that myself. Like, we can set up auto pay. It can be a day late because Understood. then they will kick her out. Understood. If you can keep your word and help me out with Nova financially, I don't have to put you on child support. I can't make up for the past, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do in the future. That's going to happen. I work with Dante still. That's been, you know, we're starting to get more busy with that. So that's actually the better job. What do you want? What? Landscaper. You have two jobs? Practically. But I'm kind of edging out from the, the, the Winn-Dixie one. There's no reason why he has two jobs and he doesn't help me with Nova. Yeah, hey, hey, there's no reason I have two jobs and she can't come to my house. She's not going to your house. D. She, she don't know your family. Just don't. Oh. Nova will not go to your house. There's no reason why you're not helping me with her financially. You haven't been stable thus far. And and you can't say that... I just recently got stable. I just okay. wasn't stable. Okay. That's why I'm putting you on child support. And what do you think Charles Rick would say? You gotta pay up. If you sit there and say, I want her all the time forever, yeah. no 
you're gonna be paying all this kind of money. Like, that's just a no. fact. Like, what do you no. want me to just pay and just never take her? Like, what do you want me to do? No, you're gonna just pay because he has to help. So, so what okay. you're saying is that you're not gonna help pay for anything because you don't get her. Why? That's what you're saying. Huh? This went south real ass. What happened? Bro, we're trying to make it work. And you guys have real issues. You guys need to talk. You want to go play outside? Yeah. All right, so go under the table. Don't talk to me about it. I don't know. Let's just go play, man. If you look at my scenes on TV, I'm not talking about this woman. What did she All she do is talk. My baby daddy sucks. The first thing she said about me, first baby daddy sucks ass. Because you do Get out of here. Both of you guys suck ass. Maybe you suck ass. Okay, guys. okay, now this is getting out Think about it, maybe you're doing you, something I can wrong. see the smile I, on your face, you're getting grimy, stop. I take care of this one by myself, and no but by myself. Because you want to your life. No, That's the why. only reason why me and Lewis are not together, because I don't want to be with him. That situation is beyond. I invited you here what? to have it civilized dinner. What I'm saying is, dude, you're not going to disrespect me like that. Like, that's just How? wild. How She's not disrespecting, disrespecting you. What do you mean? My first baby daddy sucks ass. No, but sit there saying, where's what my daddy? What did dad? you want her to Whose daddy sucks ass is not asking for him. What are you talking about? Like, do you ask dude, your daddy? Your daddy dude. sucks ass and you don't ask for that. So get the out of here. You don't even know what it's like to have a dad. Dude. That's a fact. I'm telling you right now, shut the up. First of all, lower your voice. Make me get. I'm trying to be God, nice yeah, to this guy, man. Go. I'm trying to be nice to this mother. I'm trying to be nice to this guy, but you can't be civil with him. I'm trying to be civil with you. You bitch. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I was trying to be nice. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to know what to see me like that. I don't want to hurt Nova. It's my fault. I should have never said anything. Yeah, but that was bottled up anger, and I get where you're coming from. But he's being so petty and childish, and I've been trying to be rational with him for so long, and now all that work we did is out the window. Now we're going to have to start from scratch again with him. Mom, I was going to be so calm and so nice. I wasn't even going to say nothing. The moment he said I have two jobs, I was like, what the are you doing not helping me then if you have two jobs? I'm struggling. Thank God I filed for that child support. Oh, my God. Oh, they look at these cuties. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi. How are you? you? look great. Thank you. I want pepperoni and bacon. Let's see what they got. Table of the lane. Ricotta cheese, mozzarella. So, the reunion's coming up. It's gonna be fun. Just don't, just no, just keep it cool. Like I, I mean, there's people you don't talk to and people you just kind of stay away from. Not that cliques are formed, but you just feel more comfortable around certain people. Yeah. So I don't know what your relationship is like with all the other cast members. So we'll see how it goes this year. I don't know, it's just... There's a lot of drama with girls, and... How do you deal with that? With that drama? Yeah. With Kale saying stuff, and Janelle, and I was just like, you know what, I just... I'm trying to live my life a drama-free life, and stress-free. So, well, funny you brought this up, so their, their mother, uh, we were talking yesterday, so she said Leah had told her that we were sharing a room together. Come in. Hey, why you look so snazzy? We gotta look good while we're out here. I was hoping you were gonna come out, that's why. I don't know. If my mom watches the babies, yeah, I'll go out. I guess. <laughs> anyways. Yeah, anyways. Yo, it's hot as Take your jacket off. Is that what it is? You uh, nervous? No, nah, it's like 70. Aww, I you're I nervous. <laughs> look at you. It's 74 Catching degrees Catching a in here. sweat. My room is 64. Um, I don't know, there's, I guess there's a lot of kinks we gotta talk about. What? There's a lot of kinks we gotta talk about. What do you mean? I mean, first of all, we gotta hang out more. You're, you're all the way in Florida. Well, so you're right? all the way in Delaware, so how would that even work? I, we texted about long distance. Hey, that's only a two-hour flight, so. You're yeah, right. But you're not next door. But, and come on the weekends. I don't know where this would go or what, but. Take it day by day. Mm -hmm. Dope. 
was all right. It was all right. Y'all making me so stressed with y'all petty ass problems. Nah, y'all, I, I, I don't, I got no beef. I'm it was sick. horrible. Like I walk in, as soon as I walk in, she was like, I don't want her next to my son. Why is she here? Why did you guys catch me off guard? What's going on? Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, what? I just ate it. I just ate it. I didn't even say nothing. I didn't give a. I'm not, but I did say if she continued, there was gonna be an issue. She doesn't bother me, you know what I mean? Like, it, her presence doesn't bother me. Like, I'm not gonna feel uncomfortable. I think she's trying to make me feel uncomfortable and it didn't work, so. Well, me and you don't talk, me and Janelle don't talk, Javi and I really don't talk. We're gonna address this, since yes. it's just us two. What's the issue? My issue is that you texted me telling me one thing and then Javi's telling me another thing. What is Javi telling me? Javi's telling me that y'all are basically trying to be together. I so, honestly do not care. If y'all date, and I told him that, but he needs to be real about it and you need to be real about it and that's so it. My whole thing is, is we can't tell you nothing if we don't know what's going on with us. We're friends. Right. All we are is friends right now. So I can't tell you it's gonna be more if it's not. And I can't tell you it's gonna be less if it's not. This is so out of control that I'm like, first of all, Javi, they would not have filmed Javi in Orlando if it wasn't for I'm Isaac going out. and y'all hanging out. And things got miscommunicated. I don't know what Leah told you. But what was said to me was that y'all were sharing a hotel. I got a three bedroom hotel, which is like an apartment. And I said, if you're gonna have Isaac in Orlando, you need to tell Kale, it's not my place to tell Kale that her kids are gonna be hanging out with us. That has to come from you because you're watching them. Right, I agree. And he didn't do that. Nobody was sleeping in no bed together. You're taking Leah's comment way too extreme. Everyone talked about it, so it's not just Nobody me. Nobody knew about me and Harvey being in a hotel room if it wasn't for Leah. Okay, well, you're the one that opened your mouth, so you can blame no, yourself. I don't appreciate those So you did share a hotel room? No, we didn't because the hotel didn't happen because of okay. Irma. Okay. So he ended up staying in his own hotel room. If you're still feeling salty about it, that's your personal problem, not mine. Salt? What is there to be salty about? You're salty. About what? You're salty. The hobby about is moving what? on. I don't give a f he moves on, Brianna. Sure, I guess. You know what? To be honest with you, I think what we want is to see you guys work it out. That's why I would like to talk to all three of us, but without cameras, because this is clearly bigger than what we all thought. You OK? Yeah. People just got issues for no reason. You're making them issues. I'm no, gonna... you are, not me. Explain. I have no Explain issues. yourself, because I'm asking yeah, you. Yesterday, when you walked in, you was really loud mouth. Okay, Obviously, you're the one with the issue. First of all, first of all, don't get disrespectful with my mom. First of all, don't I'm gonna have a conversation with her. With my mom. She talked to me, so I will answer her. Don't I'm gonna get talk to her. With my mom. I'm talking to your mom. Obviously, the whole thing is just a mis. Communication? It, it, it is. That's it absolutely. Is. But if you know it's a miscommunication, how you behaved yesterday was inappropriate. I had nothing to do with her. Okay. My fit was because my the baby was here and there was no accommodations for him. No, you said you don't want me or Javi or Janelle in front of your kids. No, I don't want to well, sit around you guys. No. Well, yeah, exactly. So you felt some type of way about me being well, in that room. I, I was not talking to you. I wasn't I know you speaking. wasn't talking to me, but you was talking about me. No, what I'm saying is me and you weren't All speaking. Right, shut up, you're annoying. Okay, well, you can be ratchet then. That's fine. I could be ratchet, you could be bougie. Hey. Hey. What's going on? What's up? What's, you tell me. No, you tell me, You yo. tell me. What's Come on, don't talk to me. Let's talk, girl. I don't know. Let's talk. You got to bring Kayla to talk. She won't talk to nah, you. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to talk to Kayla. Though. I'm going to talk to Kayla with myself. Why? What happened? No, I got to be there because... What happened? She's... I don't know how it started. She was just like, somebody's lying. Nobody's communicating to me what's really going on. And I'm like... Um... I don't know. Wait, nah. I, I just want to make sure you're right first. I'm always okay. You are. Right. She'll make sure, so I'm gonna talk no, to Kale. She said she won't talk to all three of us. I'm not. This isn't Kale. Kale's not running this. Like, I know she's not. Okay, so I'll talk. I'm gonna go talk to her right now. I'm coming. Stop. Let me no, talk to her first. Nah, let me talk to her first. Yo, don't try to act hard with me. No, I'm not. Don't, yo. Let's go. Yo, Bri, don't try to act like that with me. I'm not, but yes, you are. somebody's lying. Somebody's lying. Nah, we're gonna figure it out because I'm gonna squash you. They want to barge into my room. I could barge into theirs.
Do you want to go on top? Do you want to go on top? Don't act. Come on. I'm not doing this on camera. Okay, they can, they can stay outside. I, I'm going to talk to you. They can stay outside. It's so Jerry Springer, and I'm not. You did Jerry Springer. You did this. this. Yes, you did. You did this. You did this. Stop. Let me talk to you. Look, Are you for real right now? You did all of you this. You literally sat there and were like, shut up, you're annoying. Shut up, you're annoying. Shut up, you're annoying. Because you are. So and how were you yesterday? Okay. How, how were you yesterday? Um, first of all, it had nothing to do with it. It had everything no, to do with it. No, I said, I don't want these people around my kids. These people generally had this conversation already. So have a nice day, Brianna. All right, well, let me talk to you. I don't want to talk to you right now. If you want to, if you want to talk about this, we'll go back to the hotel and talk about it, but not here. Well, the camera's still wait out here. We can talk. Have a nice day, guys. Javi and I are having a great time with the girls, and tonight the two of us are going to dinner. Gotta go get the girls ready for the night. I gotta take a shower. I gotta do my makeup. I gotta get ready. I'm telling you, we're not gonna get to dinner until about. That's not even funny. I promise you. We're just gonna eat really fast. <laughs> How long is it gonna take you to get ready? What can I do to, to cut some time out here? Change both the girls into pajamas. I can do that. Well, I can just tell her no time on me. So I, yeah. I got Stella. You got Stella. I got Nova. Okay. Make Stella's milk. Easy. Okay. And then that's it. Okay. So, so I don't While I'm getting ready, you can do all of that. Then we get to go on a nice little dinner date. I don't want to change. You don't want to change? No. Here, make it easier for you so there's not too many buttons. Just change her onesie and then put this in the sun. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, my gosh. She only gives you a hard time, so I'm good. I need to have a mission for years. It does take a village to raise a goddamn child. All right, I'm going to the bathroom, and you guys have some time to hang out. Whoa, look who's here. Grandma. Hi, Stelly Belly. Brianna, how come I feel like you you got here and it's like a tornado? <laughs> Where is she? Okay, get putting her makeup on. God, I'm gonna kill y'all. I swear to God. What you spilled? Tomato sauce. Cause y'all don't know how to close properly. That's a, that's a, that's a good, quick cleanup. You know what, Javi? Since you out here, we're trying to wipe my sister, clean it. <laughs> clean it. We gonna make him work. What? Come on, let's clean this up. Let's time out, people. Who's scrubbing the floor right now? <laughs> That's because I'm trying to be a What's nice guy. What's his name? Javi. I'm, I'm trying to be a nice guy. Thank you. Wait, before you go, I wanted yes. to ask you guys something. Yeah. I was waiting for Brianna, but I wanted to talk to you. So he, here's here's what's going on. You guys have been hanging out, which is great. Mm -hmm. I'm not against it. However, are you really committed to this? I'm here, right? You guys live far apart. Those are all things you have to really take into consideration and think about. That's a conversation me and her will have sooner than later. Go south, what happens after? Hopefully at that point we can be adults and if go south, we can remain friends. I won't hurt her, I promise. Wow. Oh, that is so cute. Everyone with a different Power Ranger? Or... Yeah. Let's be honest, <laughs> I have no idea. What do you say? No, not to me. Stop. What do you say? It's OK. You're welcome. Careful, Thank Link. You. You're welcome. Look, I got one. Look, we all got one. Stella's got one. The baby's got one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. I have a wild horse. You look so cute. It's hot in here. What do you tell mommy? What she, what she got? It's mad cold. Wait till you see what I got. I'm wearing a full, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> full onesie, right? I got to talk to you guys about something. What? Oh, jeez. We can't film Lincoln's birthday party tomorrow. Why not? Kale told the party place that she didn't want Lincoln filmed to <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Why not? Why don't I have any say in this? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. It's OK. It doesn't have to be filmed. Sorry, right. we're still gonna have fun with cameras or without cameras. She's so petty. That's like, like, that's, like I said, it's not about us. It's not. She's, this is all spite. She's doing everything out of spite. That's crazy. Um, but no, Kale called me last night while you were upstairs with the baby. She called me last night to talk about whatever's going on. I don't understand what the problem is. So eventually, we were just cursing at each other, and I just hung up on her. I just didn't want to hear it. I'm exhausted of arguing with her every time, and it's just nothing changes. So I just hung up. Oh, Kale. Oh, Kale. Hopefully, this stops one day.
I hope so. And these if two. If I'm gonna be around, then. What do you mean if? <laughs> I'm not a fortune teller. Like, I cannot tell what's gonna happen tomorrow. But I don't want me to affect anything. Like, I don't want that to mess up the relationship that you guys, that you guys built, you know? Because you guys were co-parenting just fine, and now it's like Well, I think we were just co-parenting just fine just because I didn't have, A, a significant other, B, I never really drew a line with her as far as our communication. Like, now it needs to be strictly Lincoln. If it's not about Lincoln, there's no reason why we need to be talking. I hope so. Get out of here. be your ass and her ass together. <laughs> no, just kidding. You're not, though. But... No. <laughs> but... Yes. It's nice having you by my side doing this. <sighs> here we go. Come on, let's go before we got all the mushy and Before you started saying... Get out of here. So what did Javi say? He wants to know when I'm moving down here and... I mean, that's, a, him, that's a big step, though. Let's just, let's enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Like, we've been doing just fine. And he's yeah. like, I'm 25 years old. It's crunch time. I don't got time he's to waste. So young, though. And I'm like, but we're, you're not dying tomorrow. Like, <laughs> come on. And I know he's not leaving his son, so it's me moving. It's not mm -hmm. him. So it's a lot that I have to sacrifice. And a lot that I got to think about before I go anywhere. And does he understand that? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Need stability for my kids, yeah. and I need to be a hundred percent sure that we're yeah. good. Like, You're not moving down the street. Yeah, it's two-hour <laughs> plane ride. Like it's a long way from home. So, mm -hmm. it's and you have lot. you have no family out here. I have nobody. So it's like you want me to sacrifice everything for you, which I get. You know, that's mm -hmm. what, that's that's, that's what couples do. You know, but it's like you need to understand my situation. Got two kids, then I'm just gonna pack up and come over here. Like, he wants me here in the summer. What do you tell him? Let's just take it day by day. He's yeah. like, I can't do that. That's hard. You actually just pick a state in the middle. Like, you know what? We're both moving to Alaska where we both don't know nobody. We're both starting new. And. Damn. I think you need to sit down with him and just. I don't know, just try and get him to understand because this is, it's a tough, it's not a, hey mom, I'm moving, I'm moving 10 minutes from here. Yeah, there he is. And it's hard. And like, he's not changing his life because he's not leaving his son, so it's not like fair in a sense. Yeah. But I'm the only one making changes. Well, what is going on with Javi? What are you guys right now? Are you guys together or are you guys broken up? Not together. Not together, you guys broke up. Mm hmm We're still talking. He wants us to be friends. But I saw a different side of him I've never seen before. Something came about, like, me moving in the summer again. To Delaware? To Delaware. I said, I don't think that's a good idea. I think we need to wait a little bit. And then he was like, our futures just don't align up, so we can't be together anymore. I'm like, what? And I said, one day I will come. It's just not going to be this summer. So, so why yeah, you gotta go he there? brought up my can't surgery. Come here? He doesn't want to come here. He said no, he will never come here because of his son. He trying to have your ass. Go to Delaware, have a baby, and then you're trapped in Delaware. You're stuck. You know how girls like to trap baby daddies? Yeah. He trying to trap a baby mama, just like he got Kale stuck in that raggedy ass state. And then my surgery came up, which, by the way, he knew about it since day one. He said that he doesn't want me to get the surgery. He doesn't want it to be filmed. He doesn't want you guys there. He doesn't want me on Snapchat. He doesn't want articles about it out. And I said, well, Dr. Miami is giving me a discount to put it on Snapchat. So it's happening whether you like it or not. And he said that his image comes first, his job comes first. And what are you getting done? I'm getting a breast lift, um, lipo, deflating my ass, um, a tummy tuck, and that's it. <sighs> I gotta stay in Miami, in Miami for a full week. Um, I can't do anything, so somebody will have to wipe my ass, feed me, help me get up, all that. Then I gotta figure scared. out who's gonna take care of me, because obviously Javi isn't. I felt controlled. Yeah. I felt like he was trying to manipulate me in a situation that I didn't want to be in, and uh, it wasn't happening, and it backfired on him. How did it backfire? I think he wanted to be like, okay, I won't have it televised, or okay, I'll be there in the summer, or okay this, or okay that. I did not do that. 
He's used to dating places of Wonder Bread, bitch. Your cinnamon raisin, your multigrain, your everything bagel. He had these conversations with you when the camera wasn't around, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Why do you think that is? I heard about Javi going on Kale's podcast, and I was so pissed that I couldn't hold back. To make things worse, Shirley and I are getting our plastic surgery in a few days, and Javi was supposed to help take care of us. Are these just chicken wings? Chicken wings. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna eat as much as I can now because in a few days we out to uh, Miami. Sorry, I told you. We're not gonna eat for what, like three days. We're getting our surgery. That has caused a lot of. Mm-hmm. I'm over it. Like you know how I am. Like once I feel type of way, that's it. Done, complete, finito, goodbye. And then he decides to go on his ex-wife's podcast without Stop telling you. Telling me, like, if I don't know. You should have let me know. And then my name just kept getting brought up throughout the whole hour podcast. And I went off on Twitter. I was like, you're a fat bitch. <laughs> you. You're oh, a bitch. You don't own your <laughs> um, you play the Victim, like, don't provoke me and expect me not to say nothing. Mm -hmm. And then Javi hit me up and was like, that <laughs> Javi was like, you're better than this. And this is, this is not the break. I know. We talk about everything. I was like, apparently not. Apparently not. Like, I can't believe he thought that that was OK. OK. And, and the then he wants he to come at me sideways. <laughs> and then for her to talk about me, why? Like, me, like, why do you want to know all the juicy details about She me? wants her ratings. That's. I get it. I guess but, like, that says she wants her ratings. Why? Because Javi came here and was just pissing me off. I knew it. Didn't I tell you yesterday? He's gonna show up. I'm, I could call each move that he's gonna play. He thinks he's a player. I don't. I don't know. There's a lot that we still have to talk about. I think we dropped it for right now because of, I'm going to the surgery tomorrow, and I don't want to be mad all day today. Don't trust him. I don't. He's shady. He's so shady. Think of yourself. Do you really need him there? No, but I must say not to like pick sides. I'm I'm comfortable with him being here. It's nice to just have a familiar face here while I'm going through all of that. Cause we know you're a crybaby, and he wanna play Captain Saberhole, so I came to be Captain Slicerhole. Who's Captain Saberhole? This mother oh in the next God. room trying to save somebody, bitch. We don't need you. Please stop. Just saying. So I'm gonna find the nearest hotel because I'm not staying here. Hell no. Uh uh. Okay, Bree, you know what's coming up? Calm it down. Calmate. You got it? Hi, guys. Come on. <gasps> hi. Say hi. Give mommy the kiss. Careful, okay? Gentle. What's going on, bro? Oh, what's Sorry. good? Javi. Yeah. 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 Stella, what are you doing in Miami? <laughs> what are you doing? Why is he here? This is stupid. I'm not being a part of this, yo. I'm leaving. Shirley, watch the girls. I'll be right back. So what's the surprise you're here? I thought you wasn't gonna come. Uh, I wasn't supposed to. What happened? Me and Bree talked, and we decided these conversations would be in person. Perfect timing, right before surgery with a camera crew here. Precise. Yeah, there's no such thing as a perfect timing, but sure. So we came, I was gonna leave this morning, and we talked, and we decided I should stay till Sunday, leave Sunday. And now that I'm here, why? I'm very busy. There's no room. Yeah. It's my daughter, I gotta take care of her. Sure, yeah, no problem. I genuinely like you. I, I think you're an okay guy. I don't think you're great. I think you're sneaky. And I think you methodically planned out. Why you came in so fast? Like, why the proposal when you should have waited? Why, why say you're going to be um, deployed and you're not deployed, which I get happens, but you've been dragging that deployment since chaos two seasons ago. How it looks to me now that I look back at how you played your cards, I'm very suspicious. We don't act. We're real. It don't get any more real than what me and my two daughters are. Do you understand? 
You're moving so fast, you didn't think about the kids, you didn't think about anything. You were reckless, you know why? Because you want to be in the spotlight, you want to maintain it. And I have to tell you, it's very disappointing. And I got nothing else to say after that. Nothing. Okay. What can you say to convince me otherwise? I don't, I'm not gonna try and convince you because like I told Bri, I'm not dating you, Brittany. I'm Guess not what? Dating you. Kale may not have had a mother, Brianne does. That's and fine, it's but again, Mwah. I'm not dating Mwah. all three of you. Go back and interview Kale. Go back to the iPod, interview her, and let's talk <laughs> about the discussion Again. here. That's another shady you did. Who it was. did that? It was. Who did that? I apologize to Bree. The podcast was wrong. I've, I've, I've wrong. Seen. That was a shady okay. I've ever okay. seen in my life. It was wrong. Shady. You don't have no, it wasn't it was wrong. wrong. It was shady. Whatever. Why Just... you showed up today? Because the cameras are here. Were you really going to show up if the Your cameras weren't here? Wanted me here. I knew you was going to come to Dr. Miami's office yesterday. I called it. I it knew you was going to show up. Okay. It was too good for you not to fall into that trap, and you did. It's too good. You think me being here makes me look good? Yeah, superhero. I, I just, you know, I wanted to talk to you, like, about what are your plans? Do you plan on moving out soon, or, like, what is, like, yeah, the I mean, goal? I plan you? on moving into my new place. I'm just waiting on the rest of the money, because yeah. I only have, like, half. Okay. I'm waiting on the other half, because I had to pay first and last month. Yeah. How about your jobs? Well, the job I had, well, I still partially have it. Yeah. But that is so far. Right now, I'm looking for, like, a serving job, because I need something. Quick and fast. Day in, day out. Like, I need, I need cash in hand every day. I appreciate y'all for allowing me to help and for helping me, so. Thanks for helping with Stella, too. No problem. Like, anytime. Like, they're, they're a one-two package now, so. You know, when Nova, when Nova was that age, me and you was kind of mm -hmm. not seeing out of eyes, so like I wasn't really always here. So I get to see a lot of that I missed out on. And like, it's pretty cool. Like, I missed out on some good <laughs> But you feel me? Like, Stella's pretty interesting. I like seeing him. I like seeing her grow up, too. It's cool. I'm sorry. I'm going to use my daughter's underwear. Yeah, they're good kids. One of the main storylines that we watched this season was an ongoing feud between Kaylin and Brianna. When the cast came together in New York, Kaylin and Brianna agreed to sit down for what was supposed to be a chance to make peace. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Bitch, stay the f away. Oh, you're loud. Bitch, stay the f away, okay? So Kaylin and Brianna took some time to let the dust settle, and eventually the entire cast came downstairs so we could begin shooting. But the drama spilled over into the studio. Let's give a warm welcome to Leah. Kayla, Chelsea, Barb, Joe, Brittany. Yes, as close as they can possibly. For what? Just we want everybody to be safe and everything to play fair. And just want everything to We're going to have fun. This is Unseen Mamas, show. for Christ's sake. This no, is it's a, not fun. Right. So, yeah. What up? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good, good. Nice seeing you. I'm done that way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here is Brianna. What the f you was f talking with the f bitch. Now you're not gonna do it in front of cameras. Now, now, but before you was bitch, but before you was. I'm leaving. Now you don't want to do that. That's my sister. This isn't about you. This isn't about you. This is excuse me. No, let me. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. No, 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 no. No. Spontaneous, you know? Uh, You're a swimmer, right? You say you love the I ocean, like, right? I like to know things. Like, I like to have, like, so you'll know when we cool get details. Do me a favor. Please, could you look at me? <laughs> this life is paper. We've got no guarantee. Why didn't you tell me? I haven't been here since I was, like, seven. It's been so long since so I've been long. to Pony Island. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 
Everything. Holy moly! Noma was here and Stella. They would have so much fun. When the time is right, you can meet my family. I'm patient. Yeah. I can wait. So this brings a lot of good memories to you? Yeah, it does. Got it, guys. We'll make some better ones. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm going to miss you. I don't want to leave. You don't have to. I do have you to. Don't have to. You feel okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting giggly. <laughs> Wait, so both of you guys are getting a giggle attack right before surgery? Because they're having juice. <laughs> I can't. Who's worse? Her? Nova's surgery went well, and we're on our way home. It's nice that I could count on Devon to be there for Nova, especially since Lewis is barely in the picture. So I feel good about offering to change Nova's last name. So I know you've been around more often. You've, you know, been helping out, and you've been showing that you want to be a part of her life. And I know we were going through then, but I think she should definitely have your last name. You know, Stella has um, her dad's last name. So I don't know, I just think it's just fair. It's just fair. Yeah, I mean, I said we should definitely do it. That would be pretty cool. So what made you come sooner than December? What happened? The apartment. It was ready? Yeah. So I wasn't going to, like, put my deposit down and not be here. Is it far from here? About 40 minutes. Is there any update with the child support? Because I haven't heard anything. I got a letter basically informing me that I'm going to be receiving stuff. You know, I know that right now, financially, I haven't been able to help you. But now I'll be around more if I could be there. If you need me to take care of her or whatever, I'm just going to be visiting her on a regular, so. <clears throat> yeah. She just has to gain that relationship with you. She has to, you know get yeah. to know who you are, learn about you, you get to know her, learn about her. Yeah, I know. And I think Stella's dad is coming over tomorrow to see Stella. I don't know, it's not for sure, it's a maybe. Me and Stella's dad have the same problem. Stella's dad and your dad have the same problem. What? Sometimes they say they're gonna come and sometimes they don't. Saying they're gonna come and then they don't come? Yeah. Yeah. That's why when your dad comes, you have to be like, hey, I thought you were coming. What happened? Do you want to tell your dad that? No. No? Why not? Yeah. You don't know? And do you want me to talk to him about it? No. No? Why not? Because. Because what, baby? Would you feel uncomfortable telling him that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you ever want me to tell him, just let me know, and I will definitely tell him. Because I know you like to spend time with your dad, and you get upset when he doesn't come. It's not really his fault. It's my fault. Why is it your fault? Because I never really call him to see if he's here. <laughs> yeah, but, babe, that's your daddy. He's supposed to call you to check up on you to see if you're OK. But it's not your fault. It's never your fault. This is my first, like, real relationship. Yeah. All my relationships have been like I'm a flame. Free. Yeah, it was never solid. I just wanted something, like, real. Something okay, that's genuine. Right. That's all I'll ever be. That's what you are. You're very genuine and sincere. You just so happen to cross my path. But I like the pace that we're going. I don't feel pressure. Do you feel pressure? What's that smile? Because that sounds like a yeah. I just wanted to be a jackass. <laughs> that looks good. 
Thank you. Whatever we're doing is right. I, I feel it feels right. Now the next step would be, you know, meeting my family. You ready, Bob? I think it'll be okay. You can talk to me about your mom. What do you want to know about my mom? What would be my biggest challenge with your mom? She's she's gonna protect me. She's a mother show. And she speaks her mind. That's good. But I think she'll like you. I really do think she'll like you. Like she has this eye for things. Like if somebody's not good for me, she'll tell you, like, you're not gonna date my daughter. Um, and yeah. <laughs> my, my last relationship, she was very involved because she knew it wasn't right. So Let's see what fluid faces you got. <laughs> okay, that'll do. For the big oh, that was cute. Oh, that's cute. Kiss Nova, Stella. Kiss Nova. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. One You're ill. Hold it. They come take pictures. Come over, look up at him. Look up at us. Yeah, look, there you go. I, like it. I love it. Oh my I god, I love arms, it. Look at that. Uh, you. <laughs> this looks like an ad. Kids. Look at that. Steve, thank you for coming. Oh god, thanks for inviting. Why don't we give them a break and then we can okay. have, we can do some adults. Come on, Stella. <laughs> okay, there she goes. I got you. I got you. I got you. Don't, you can't throw yourself on the floor. Wow. Yin and yang. Put Stella in the background having a tantrum and Nova having a great time. Give me a <laughs> Let me see. Oh my god, that's a perfect one. How did your family session go? Have you heard anything from Lewis? I just texted him, but he didn't write back. I feel bad that he didn't show. I wish he would have made the sacrifice. Whatever. I've been through a lot with Devon, so it feels good to finally be able to trust him with Nova. Have a good time. SpongeBob kids cuisine? Yes. Mac and cheese. So did you have fun at the dance, no? Mm-hmm. You were excited for tomorrow? Yeah. We're gonna go to the water park with Gianna. You are going to be doing boring stuff while me and Gianna have fun. Duh. I'm gonna have fun. No, you're not. I don't know about you. Nova's still with Devon today, and I'm supposed to pick her up soon, but I haven't heard from him since this morning, which is a little weird. Hello, Stella? Stella, hello? Hi. I gotta go pick up Nova. What did she do today for her back? They went to the pool, hung out at the pool. Oh my God, don't tell me his phone died. Who? Devon's. Probably, if they're having turned, fun. Turned green. His phone died. Let me call it. I guess it didn't. It's not answering. We know where he lives, it's fine. 
Yeah, but what if he doesn't have his phone on to call an Uber to get back to his place? He did give me the address to where they were staying at, though, just in case. She's living her best life today, girl. She probably called a tantrum, don't even want to leave. Yeah. Probably what he's trying to do, get her ass together to come home. God damn it, Tavon. Your call has been for... Something's not right. I'm getting a little worried, so maybe we should go and look for Devon. I found Nova and Devon at her friend's place. I'm gonna take him home and get Nova's things now, but I'm really pissed because it seems like he's been drinking. This is ridiculous. Spilling all over my car. things to do. Come on, you got no. sharks? Come on. I'm going to carry you. There's no, no pressure. You're not carrying her. Look She's at you, fine. a handful of sharks. Come here. She's fine. Come on. Absolutely no problem with that. Come here. You got a handful of sharks. Put her down. Put her down. Look at you dropping. Put her down. Drop it. Nothing. It's nothing important. All right, go get, let's go upstairs Come to on. get her stuff. My purse. Oh, God. iPad. Come on, get in the car and put your car and your seatbelt on so you can go. She had fun though. She did go. Come on, we have to go. We have to go. Okay. You... I'm sorry, Nova. I'm sorry. Don't cry. He's just drunk. Talking, blabbering, dropping his money on the floor. First of all, I will never doubt your mother's intuition again. I am no, so sorry. No, I knew what. I knew something was wrong. He was drunk. He was he's drunk. He's not gonna remember this tomorrow. No, he's not. And he had a, his his drink in his hand the whole time. That's irresponsible. Did to you speak mother. to Nova on the way here? Barely. She not know? really. No. She noticed. He kept repeating himself like he wasn't making sense. I'm like, what? I'm sorry, Nova was Shut exposed up. to that. Never in the seven years that she's been born have I ever been intoxicated near her or around her or anything. Nobody has. Nobody. Oh, God. I'm livid. I'm so disappointed in him. I give him a little bit and he takes advantage and he does all this dumb <laughs> Well, especially at a <laughs> pool. Especially at a pool. What if something would have happened to Nova? I have to run to New York because I got to speak with John. I got to have a face-to-face -face conversation. There was a screenshot that came out that's between him and somebody else. And it looks like an Instagram mm -hmm. DM. And she's like, you got me pregnant. Oh, my God. You're only using her for fame. And he's like, you die, something like that. Something mm -hmm. among those lines. And it looks really real. I'm confused because like a part of me is like, OK, it's fake, but then a part of me is like, okay, what if this really is legit? Yeah. Because it looks super legit. So I talked to him and... I was like, what the f is this? Like, I just went off. Oh, f off. I was like, who the f is this? What is this? You got another bitch pregnant? Oh, word, I bet. He was literally confused, like, wait, what? And he was like, you should know me by now that this isn't me. And then I was like, I bring you around my kids. My film with you, you met my mom, you met my sister, we're making all this plans and this is what you want to do to me. And he was like, that's not me. I didn't do that. And he was like, you have some investigating to do. 
I found out who the girl was that created the screenshot. She ended up deactivating her account because of it. So there's no pregnant girl. There's no other girl on the side. There's no. No. Like, if you knew me, you know I, I don't speak like that. Anybody would be upset. It looks legit. But it wasn't. Where do we go from here? I mean, we keep moving forward. Just we have, we have to build more trust within our communication. I understand that. And then being long distance, it does not help. No. Scroll. Can we get lit? lit. OK, we can get lit. It's your birthday. We're That's here. right. And it's our one year anniversary. Yes. What is this? <laughs> what is that? Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> one year. This time last year, I met you. And I was like, who yes. is this man? This year has been good to us. Yeah, we've learned a lot about each other. Still learning. Yeah. Mm. This trip helps a lot. Well, not a lot, but it's. Something that we needed. Yeah. We upgraded from eating fried chicken to... Setting pole side. Yeah. What's going to happen after this? That's a great question. What? What do you mean? A house, kids, a ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we keep, you know, traveling? Of course. We do continue we... to do what we can, and then the end goal is hopefully we can continue this for a very, continue doing this for a very long time under one roof. Okay. Hopefully. Did you see what Nova wrote on the refrigerator? No. She wrote, "I'm on to my dad." Yeah. It's been like a month, right, since he last saw her. He has not reached out to me. Yeah. Um, I have mixed feelings about it, but if Nova wants to see him, I can't stop that from happening. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> so dramatic. I love her. How's it going, love? Good. All right, you guys play. I'll be right back. All right, connect four. Let's do it. Come on. Where you going, right here? How's gymnastics been? Good. Who's going first, me? No, me. Da -na 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 -na. Remember the last time I seen you? Do you remember the last time I seen you? Do you remember? I went to the pool. It's been, it's been a long time, you know. I had a lot, a lot of things I had to get together. I don't know how to explain it to you. What? I don't know. Me and your mom weren't really happy with each other. Why? I mean, it was my fault. It was my fault. What'd you do? I messed up. What you messed up? I mean, you wouldn't understand at this age. You wouldn't understand. But we did oh, have a little I fight. I oh, know, you God. lost. You didn't, you didn't win. But that's why you haven't seen me for so long, you know? It's been a month. But I don't ever want you to think that I don't think about you. I don't miss you. OK? And I know she wants to sleep over your house and do all these things with you, but that's gonna take some time. So for now, you're welcome to come to the house. You're welcome to meet her here at gymnastics, mm -hmm. take her home, and from there is baby steps. So I have some exciting news to share. I bought a house for Ooh. all of us. It's a nice town home. It's not built yet, they're building it now. Here, you can go through and see what it's gonna Have they look started like. building it or no? Yeah, they started. So this it's, is It's really my spacious. Room. There's two living rooms downstairs. These rooms are freaking huge, bro. What They're the hell? They're really big. No, it's it's perfect for us. I think mm -hmm. this home is perfect for us. I like it, and I'm proud of you, and I'm happy that you thought of, like, the whole family because, mm -hmm. you know, that's something to be really proud about. I know. I know. I'm proud. I'm happy. Like, this is ours. Yeah. I'm excited about the house, maybe. I'm definitely excited about the house. It's very nice. No, we just have to wait for it to get built. And then begins the next chapter of your life. Yeah. I just don't know what's gonna happen when when you decide to come down here. Um, it wasn't 
what sense? What do you mean in what sense? But you don't know what's going on. Like what's gonna happen? I mean. Like if maybe I have to come down here. Well, like maybe I can. I mean, I don't want to get my own house because it makes no sense. I mean, we should we should live together. But let the time get here, and then we'll discuss that. Later. What do you have about? Or what do you think about? I don't know. When I bought the house, I don't want this to sound like mean or anything, but when I bought the house, I wasn't like thinking of like our relationship. I was just thinking of the what was best for them. And that's okay. And then once I bought it, I was like, well, what's gonna happen now if John wants to come down here? Like, obviously you're not gonna live in that house with us because my mom is there. That's just weird, not happening at all. But I don't, I don't know. Who is this coming? I know, what's up with that text? I sent him the money. I'm so proud of you. I think it's a good thing. That's her father, no matter what. Do you want to see Daddy? No. You was your dad. <gasps> daddy. Can you open the door? Open the door. Hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Who's that? Hi. That's Daddy? Come here. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Go. Come here. Mm, hi. Hi. Hey, Louis. Hey. Yeah. Hi, yeah, Daddy. Hi, yeah, Daddy. What is that? No, Daddy. It's a pad. Yeah, OK. Come on, go. gotta go do pee pee. Come on, let's, let's go. do pee pee. Come on. We're not going to cry. Daddy. I'm thinking of changing her daycare. More? Because I'm spending so much money, and it's like not consistent anymore. How much is it now? I think it's 2.45. That's a month or a week? A week. I just need your help, you know? I, I know I'm helping you out in a situation because at the end of the day, it's gonna help Stella in the long run. And I appreciate it, you know, once I start getting my steady pay, I'm gonna help you with the daycare and whatever she needs. You know, I just wish the time that you was here, you could have saw Stella more. Because now it, from the outside, it just looks like you just came here just because you needed help. <laughs> Have you heard from Lewis since he's asked you for the money? No. He's disappeared? Hell yeah. I feel like he only came over just to get that money. He could have came about it another way. Have you talked to John about it? No, I haven't really talked to him. I told him, like, I'm not in a rush for you to move down here anymore. Oh, my God. And even Sorry. if he came down here, okay. I wouldn't want him to come down here and I'm not happy. And then he changed his whole life to try to make this work, and it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. We used to do all these things. We don't talk on the phone no more. We barely text. Like, when we're together, there's, like, no connection there. And it's been like this for a while. Like, even before the DR trip, we've had problems. I'm just not Bree. happy. I don't want to be with him anymore. Is there any fix in it, though? I mean, yeah, both need to sit down. OK, what's not making you happy? What's not making me happy and work on it? Not We've never done that. No. We're both not taking that extra step to make it work. I'm in New York, and John's picking me up, but he wants to talk off camera. Can I come in? Yes. Cool. How'd you sleep? Uh, I didn't. But... No sleep? Mm. What happened last night? We went out to eat. It was awkward. We didn't really speak at first. Um, and then he blamed me for everything. Like, he said I was the one that was not in it. Like, I was, I didn't want to be with him anymore. That he could see I didn't want to be with him anymore. He said I was never ready for a relationship. Yeah, so he chewed my ass. And what did you do? He was or right. Say? He was right. The guy couldn't even like. Did you cry last night? Did he? He was so mad. Like he was crying and like screaming at the same time. 
Whoa. He was really upset with me. He was like, all of this was for nothing. And he was like, I'm so, I was so in love with you. I told my whole family about you. I was willing to move to Florida. What if I would have went to Florida and I changed my whole career for you? And you tell me you don't want to be with me and then I have to start over. And then I just came back here and that was it. But yeah, we are officially done. How did you know it was definitively over? Oh, we just both agreed that it wouldn't work out. I wasn't happy. He wasn't happy. And that's just what it was. And now I'm gonna have to see him at the reunion. I'm sad, but I'm okay. I'll be fine. Give me the kisses. Yay, mommy! Give mommy good sugars. I don't like this. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday! Yay!